I speak to Barbara? Barbara, this is Shirley. You might not know who I am, but the reason I'm calling you is because I was going through my old man's pockets this morning, and I just happened to find your name and number. So woman to woman, I don't think it's being any more than fair than to call you and let you know where I'm coming from. Now, Barbara, I don't know how you're going to take this, but whether you be cool or come out of a bag on me, you see, it really doesn't make any difference. But it's only fair that I let you know that the man you're in love with, he's mine. From the top of his head to the bottom of his feet, the bed he sleeps in and every piece of food he eats. You see, I make it possible. The clothes on his back, <laughs> I buy them. The car he drives, I pay the note every month. So I'm telling you these things to let you know how much I love that man. And woman to woman, I think you'll understand just how much I'll do to keep him. Woman to woman, if you've ever been in love, then you'd know. If you were in my shoes, wouldn't you have done the same thing too? Whoa, woman to woman, can't you see where I'm coming from? The woman to woman, ain't that the same thing you would have done? Should I just step aside and let her take what's rightfully mine? Oh, woman to woman, was I right or was I wrong? Understand. is to let you know that that wife of mine was going through my pockets to rip me off of my changes she does every morning. And she found your telephone number in my pocket. It woke me up when she dialed your number, so I just laid there with my eyes closed and my ears open. Listen to her as she began to run that weak game down to you, talking about woman to woman. Listen, if she had been any kind of real, honest to goodness, hope to die mud kicking, money getting, understand a woman like you, she wouldn't have called breaking herself in the first place. And this bed she's talking about that I sleep in, huh, it's a mattress on the floor, baby, with one sheet. When she gets in, I get out. And baby, you know if you don't feed me, I don't eat. And she got the nerve to talk about the clothes I wear, she buys. I know you had to crack up about that, because baby, you've been buying all my clothes. You know that I don't wear no more clothes here than I can put on my back. Ever since she went and pawned my mink coat that you bought me for my birthday. You remember that? Dig this. I went 
to get in the car yesterday at the noon to come see you. And the hookup man was pouring the car out the driveway because she didn't pay the last two notes that I gave her the money that you had given me as soon as I got home. Girl, I'm sure glad that you got that brand new Rolls Royce right on time. So you see, Barbara, I just wanted to straighten that little old situation right on out. And to show you how I really feel about you, darling, and how much I really love you, just listen to Lonnie blow his horn, baby. I'm going to blow it just like you love to hear me blow it. Listen, baby. You know, you 
that little woman to woman talk well girl I see you still having trouble with your love life huh? well is he the one that you say you took from her well it's obvious that you didn't have what it took to keep the man or he wouldn't have left in the first place well and now I hear you out there saying I never missed my time well you see I'm a firm believer that If a woman is 100% on her woman job, I ain't no way another man could ever beat her for her time. But it's, it's real evident that your time was of no real value to the man anyway. Well, I guess you're all alone without a man again, child. Let me just remind you of one thing. When you bait your hook and throw out your line, You can aim it in another direction, honey, and I ain't lying. You see, cause I don't play that. We can play a little bit with, pass away the time. Play some of those down home blues and get high as a Georgia pie. We can play the horses every once in a while. But when you start... Making plays at my man. I'm serious as a heart attack, too. 